Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not new. As you can see, your girl is all below dry. Hair has been stretched. I just took it out of two little cornrows I had just to keep it out of the way. But I washed my hair this morning, blow dried it, and uh, yeah, i just been prepping for this protective style. I'm doing some knotless braids. Attempting. 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 Let me clarify. Attempting to do some knotless braids. My sister has done them before and so she kind of, you know, helped me wrap my head around what exactly it is that I'm doing. Also, I watched a few YouTube videos as well. Shout out to my girl Zanita because she really inspired me to go ahead and give it a go and try it out for myself. So, I have my hair laid out here if you can see. I got hair laid out there. So, I also have a rental comb. I had to get a new one. I feel like anytime I do a protective style, I just grab a new comb every single time. I also have Shine and Jam. So I have this one in the orange container, but also this red one. I saw somebody do their knotless braids and they said that the red one was really, really good. It had a really nice hold to it. So I just went and got a small one just to try it out and see, to see if it can really stick my hair down without reverting it back. The orange one is like well known. I'm pretty sure like y'all seen people always use the orange one because I only seen people use the orange one. So I have that as well and it's in a bigger container. We also got some clips because you see all this hair. We gotta cut hair out the way so that we don't get stuff mixed up in every which way. So got my clips and my detangling brush. Now, I said I'm gonna attempt to do the knot list the traditional way. However, if that does not work, your girl also picked up a crochet needle because I've seen a few people, um, Zanita included, use a crochet needle to kind of help them achieve the knot list look, but it's a bit easier to do. And I can crochet all day long, so I got that as well. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and part. Parting is probably gonna be the toughest thing for me only because I don't have a lot of mirrors and I don't have any help. So, what I'm gonna try to part as neat as I possibly can. Yeah, y'all know I'm a free parter. I'm going with these bad boys right here. We just go in and we just part. But I want the style to look a bit more put together, a bit more polished, and I want it to last a bit longer, which is another reason why I got this type of rat tail comb because it has the metal piece, which I think is a more precise part. So, that's that, that's all the specifics. Let me go ahead and try and part my hair and uh, we're gonna see how these knotless braids do. All right, so let's get into these braids, girls. So, like I said, this is my first time doing them and normally I would have a little bit of help doing my parts when I'm trying to be extra, extra neat, but today it's just me. So, going in with my red tail comb and I wanted these braids to be kind of big, so, Kind of like jumbo, but a little step down from jumbo. I don't know what you call that, but in between medium and jumbo knotless. So, what I went on ahead and sectioned this section, but then I was like, you know what? I feel like this is too small. So, I went in again and kind of fixed that part on up and made the section a bit bigger. There it is, right here. Making the section a bit bigger because one, I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing these braids, and two, I really like the look of the larger braids you feel me okay so i got that all done squared away then i tie up the front half or front section because it's more than half and then i proceed with my braids shout out to me y'all for trying this style because i've been wanting to try it for months now but was too intimidated but shout out to me for getting over that intimidation period all right, so this is the section I'm going in with. Y'all, please excuse the creepy eye. This was the only mirror that I had on hand. So I was using it to look at my parts and see how my hair was looking in the back. So just disregard the creepy eye. I'm so sorry for that. But anyway, I go ahead and section my section. And I've seen a lot of people like part out their sections first before, um, you know, starting to braid. And so that's what I did. I went on ahead, make sure my parts were straight first and then I section them out of the way and then I proceeded to braid. So I'm starting with three sections here in the back. That section got a little crazy but I ended up fixing it. So two on the side and one in the middle obviously because that's three sections but anywho.
Now I go in with that shiny gem and I'm just placing it around the perimeter. Y'all, all the girls do this and it just be looking real good. You get your section to look real sleek. So I'm just doing what all the girls do. Again, this is really not a tutorial. It's just me showing you how I did it. My very first time, this is how I did it. So I go in all around the section and apply that shiny jam. I applied the orange one here, but I found that as I, you know, kept braiding the sections, the red one actually gave some really good holes. So that's just a little little nugget I'm throwing out there. The red one might be a little bit better than the orange one, but you didn't hear from me. So now I go ahead and section three sections to do a regular old braid you know if you don't know how to braid there are tons of tutorials on here so just go ahead and check it out i i'm not the best at really teaching how to braid or anything like that so yeah go ahead and check those tutorials out girls out here really know what they be doing i'm just you know a little home braider or whatever <laughs> but i'm sectioning my sections actually i'm not i'm applying more shining jam because i found that the more shiny jam I put on the whole shaft of the hair, the more like um, the better it was at keeping my hair inside the braiding hair. I don't know if that makes any sense, but when I applied the shiny jam on to more of the hair, it kind of kept it sleek to where it kind of just went into the braiding hair, and you couldn't really distinguish between my hair and the braiding hair. Oh, that makes sense. But I'm gonna go ahead and move on with the video. So I go ahead and braid. Um, my hair down I think I did about three or four times before adding in my first piece of hair so with this style you do have to feed hair in and that's why it took me so long to try it because I was so intimidated by that I was like oh my gosh what I don't know how to do feed-ins I like what <laughs> that's a lot of work but honestly y'all it's really not as hard as you may think um, yeah, I wish I could teach y'all how to do it, but again, this is my first time and it was kind of like, it wasn't hard, but it was just different because I'm not used to doing it. So maybe I'll throw out a video teaching y'all how to feed in the braids, but maybe not because there are so many other talented people here on YouTube that you can just, you know, watch their videos and they go in depth and things like that and you can learn from them. So yes, I just added my hair as I braid down. Um, at first, I was trying to keep count of how many times I'm braiding down before adding in my first piece so that, you know, it could be even all the way through. But some of my sections of hair were thicker, um, were like a little bit thicker than others. So it kind of messed up my count because sometimes I would need to add more and sometimes I wouldn't. So it just depends. But as I got closer to the end of my hair, as you guys can see, I start adding shine, a lot more shine and jam, just so that my hair really molds and that there aren't any fuzzy ends peeking out of the braid from my natural hair. But yeah, I just proceed with the regular braid, you guys. Um, I was honestly quite shocked at how easy it was. Um, and when I say easy, I mean compared to how hard I thought it would be in my brain. You know how we always ex exaggerate stuff, but compared to how I thought it was going to be, it was easy. And I just continue on doing that like that. Um, my braid came out the, it came out to be a good width. Um, I liked the size of the braid. I liked, you know, how sleek it was. I, I really, really liked it. So I thought this first braid was bomb. Okay, the first braid was it for me. But as I kept braiding, y'all gonna see towards the end of the video, I was just getting started. I was just getting started. But like I said, just keep adding those pieces in. Um, look at me, just keep adding those pieces. I just kept adding those pieces in to the braid um, to get my desired level of thickness. So I didn't want my braid to, you know, get super, super skinny as I continue braiding down. So I just added as many pieces as I thought I needed. And that was that. It was really the blind leading the blind because like I said, y'all, I never did this before. I do regular box braids all day, every day, but this... This was a new level for me. However, I did it. And look at this braid. Like, the braid actually doesn't look that bad. Comment down below. Tell me how you think this first braid came out. Comment down below. Let me know right now. Drop it in the comments. I thought the braid came out really, really good. And now, here, I have done a few braids already. And I noticed, if you guys can see, the rest of my hair is twisted up. 
So what I decided to do was, I just decided to part the rest of the this back section. I just decided to do the parts at one time to make it way easier on myself and you know, to speed the process up. Because me having to part, then braid, then part the next one, then braid, then part the next one, then braid. It was taking up a lot of time. And I was like, you know what? Let me just part all of these, bing, boom, bam, ba, bada, bing, bada, bam, get them on out the way and then go ahead and braid. So that's what I did, that's what these twists are. And I proceeded to braid as I did the first one. And honestly, as I kept doing it, it got a little easier and easier each time and I started to get a technique down. You know, I started to feel how my hair was feeling and know exactly how much hair I should add, how much, you know, um, how much shiny jam I should add and that type of thing so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking I think and I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch it <laughs> and I'll be back probably in the middle or towards the end somewhere up in here and we're gonna finish it on out Girl, it's the back for me. It's the neatness of these braids for me. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. When I watched this footage back, y'all, I was like, wow, this actually looked legit. It looked legit. And look at this front piece. So freaking cute. I think I did that, period. Period, period, period. Sometimes you gotta hype your own self up, okay? But now this is the last braid, y'all. Moving on up to the front. Look at how good these braids look. Like, can we just take a moment? Like, just take a moment. Look at how, like, what? Oh my gosh. Also, I took these baby hairs out, y'all. They ain't baby hairs no more, right? These are full grown adult hairs and they just are straggling, all right? But anywho, we have made it to the last braid and I was so excited. <laughs> Y'all, I was so excited. It was like midnight. I was so excited. I was so proud of myself. And the braids just looked bomb to me. Like, it had shine. It, they were sleek. The parts were parted, okay? They were parted, period, parted. Unlike anything I've ever done before, parted. But I was just so, like, I was so happy with myself. Like, these braids really came out super duper cute. Um, It didn't take me... A lot of time at all I think it took me six hours to do these braids so literally no time and they were really really cute I know y'all know the feeling when you try something new with your hair and it turned out bomb that's how I felt y'all look I'm getting those feelings right now just talking about it and looking at this video but anywho this is the last braid we done made it to the end I just like wow Y'all, you could do it. If you were ever thinking about trying knotless braids, this is your sign, okay? Take my video as your sign. Do it. Do it. Go ahead and do it, girl. Do it. Just try it. You know, the worst that can happen is it don't turn out right. But that's when you got to do it on a day or in a time frame where, you know, it's okay if you got to fix it. You got time to go ahead and take them out, do them over, whatever you need to do to get it right. 
these birds were so cute to me y'all like oh my goodness just looking at this footage is like wow you did that girl you you did that you did that like they were just so cute and they were very very light on my head it didn't feel like i had hair on my head at all which i liked because with normal box braids sometimes they can be very very heavy and just very uncomfortable but these did not hurt they weren't heavy i didn't even feel anything like didn't feel a thing so i really enjoyed that as well but i do have a little confession to make y'all and please don't be mad do not be mad but i forgot to get like the end footage so i was supposed to come back you know to y'all once you know i was dressed and everything like that to show y'all the completed style but i forgot to do that however i do have some photos that i am going to put on the screen towards the end of this video so you guys can see how i wore my braids how they looked how they lasted yada 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 things of that nature so yeah that's my little confession i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i gotta get better i gotta get better at that but i really thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up drop your comments down below how do you guys think i did on these knotless braids remember this is my first time so go easy on me you know go easy on me but i do want to know what you guys think in the comments down below also make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you have not already and hit that bell to be notified each and every time your girl posts a new video oh <laughs> no but for real thank y'all so much i will catch y'all in my next video that's all i have for you guys just look at these braids wow period yes period but i'm gone i'll catch y'all in the next video talk to y'all later bye